Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am here today to do a um, little project share with you guys. Um, it's not really a project share, I shouldn't say that. It is more a, I want to show you guys um, a few different looks you can get with a, um, sorry, I tried to zoom that in and now it's kind of fuzzy looking. Focus here. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna have to go back to that. Okay. Um, I'll just lift it up closer to show you guys. All right. So um, this is Scrap Diva's um, website, and then here is all her socials right here. So make sure you're following along to see all the fun makes. So <clears throat> what I wanted to share with you today was. Um, different looks you can get from one word set from like a, a shot you know with a shadow set <clears throat> so i have here the hey pumpkin or hey there pumpkin die set that scrap dude just released this is the small set um it also comes in the large so you can see kind of the the difference in the two right there Okay, they, all, they each have the same amount of pieces, same pieces. So, but I want to show you the different ways, different ways you can make this look, okay? So this piece right here is your shadow piece for all around all this whole thing. And I'm sorry, my bird is being noisy. I wish he would listen like a dog or something, but he doesn't. <laughs> so all you can do is put up with it. Um, so here is the like the biggest in this the sh biggest shadow layer okay so there's that piece <clears throat> this is the actual words that fit inside this so that's like that okay and then this one also has this shadow piece now what this one does is it shadows um the hey pumpkin and the there can be separate if you want them to okay and then this is the layering piece for the pumpkin that's um instead of the you they have the pumpkin there okay so i'm going to show you the different combinations and what it looks like okay <clears throat> hopefully this all makes sense and works out and is helpful like i thought it would be helpful Okay, let me see which ones I wanna do here first. Okay, first off, this is, and I try to stay the same color so that you would, you know, you get an idea of the different looks without the different colors and stuff maybe, um, you know, being a factor. So this black piece here is the big outline piece, okay, right here. Okay, and then I used the actual words and put them on just the big shadow piece okay so I got that look the pumpkin I added on it's raised up on foam okay so there is one look okay okay next up I wanted to show you um, here is all the words hey there pumpkin oops wrong one um, yes this, this and this sorry grab the wrong pieces okay so here is all the words from here okay and layered up on this okay this is the one that kind of separates these two words from that word okay um i don't know if you, if you guys watched my unboxing i i told you guys that it looked like it did those words separately and i was right they do okay so the hay pumpkin and the there are together on this one now i went ahead you can also do this is you can cut up your words so i um after i did all that then i cut 
up not just so the there just not the there is separate but the also the hay and the pumpkin are separate okay so if i just wanted to say hey pumpkin or if i want to say hey you or you know combine it with some other um uh dye in my stash or if i just want to say hey there you know i can do that too so that's another way okay another way you can do this one then is so so this one is using the words okay the words and then this smaller shadow piece okay and then if i bring in this piece the big shadow piece okay i can layer these up on here okay and this is the look I get, okay? So there's another way to layer them up, okay? Now, um, I layered them up. So this one is the same thing, it's the words, okay? With this, how it separates. This is the die set that separates the word there off of it. So this is how it cuts out the black, uh, those two words together, and then this together. And on this previous one I showed you, I just cut the hay and the pumpkin um, separate. I, well, I, you know, I just like trimmed it with my scissors so that it could be um, another word. So there is another way to do it, okay? And then again, I can just put this right here, okay? That right there and that right there. Okay, so there's all of that. Okay, now I also made a shaker. Okay, it was a hard shaker to do because it's such tiny space in here, um, but I, I did it. Um, and so what I did for this one, okay, I cut out um, this. So this is the smaller shadow piece. Okay, so that is this kind of pinkish paper back behind here. Okay, and then I cut out the words and then I just didn't use the there part on it. Okay, I just used the hay pumpkin part, which is how it cuts off, cuts out unless you, you know, fussy cut it and cut those apart. So I have some tiny seed uh, micro beads in there. If I didn't have those, I wouldn't have been able to do anything in there because it's just so tiny. But, and it doesn't hardly shake because it's just such a tight little fit. But just go to show you that you can, you know, make a shaker if you wanted to. Okay, so how I made the shaker. Okay, so I have this piece as my pink layer back down behind here. Okay, and then I have <clears throat> this piece that I cut a black piece out. Okay, so there's my um, little shadow piece right there. Okay, and then I took... Once I had that piece cut out, then I laid this one on top of it, okay? And that will cut the words out of that black. So this will give you a tiny little border, okay? If you can see that when I tip it over, okay? So to do a shaker, this one, and then layer this one. After you cut this one out, then layer this one on top, okay? And let's see, I might have, I might have, taped them together and cut them all out at one piece. I can't remember, but anyway, that will give you the shaker, okay? And actually, yeah, I did that, yeah. Okay, no, you know what I did? I didn't cut out the whole thing. I did them two separate ones because I wasn't gonna use the word there because it's a separate word. So I just cut this piece out and then laid this on top. And then, so this, this word here wasn't on top of any you know, foam or anything. So once I cut that out of, you know, the black, then I also did it again out of the foam, okay? So there, I have some gray foam, if you can see inside there. So there's, and it's not very thick either, it's a real thin layer. So there's a thin layer of the foam, cut with this, the black that you see on top, cut with these two together, okay? And then the pink on the bottom, just cut with this one, okay? I never used this big one. Okay, now I could, I could still layer that up on here. Okay, 
So there is another way to do that. Now, you can also, since I had that little layered up piece, I did the layering without making it a shaker. So I took these two pieces again, this layering piece with the word two words separate and then the words, layered them up together and cut them out. So when you do that, it cuts out the center of it and it leaves you the, you know, the outline, that black outline there. Okay, so then I just, so I have my black outline and then I just um, mounted it on this piece, which is the, you know, the biggest layering piece here. So you can see all the different looks that you can get out of just this one, <laughs> this is one word set. You get a bunch of different looks. You get kind of a, an outline look. You can get a shaker. You can get just the words and their, and their shadow right there. You can um, do like this one. It's just the same thing, but I but you can cut words apart. Okay, so like that. You can not use the little shadow and just use the big shadow and put the words there. So tons of different looks. I I hope this is helpful. I hopefully I wasn't too confusing trying to um, share with you. I put these all together with these and, you know, with doing this video in mind to kind of share um, because when I first opened the die set, when I was doing my unboxing, I could tell that this was probably going to be, those words were going to be separate, those two words. And so I want to share with you that it is separate and these are some ways to use it. Okay. So, and there are more ways. <laughs> I mean, another way I could cut out these words like this all these letters and i could cut them out on foam also or just cut them out on you know like a glitter foam or whatever and then just mount them on here and that way they would already have you know some dimension rather than just being flat okay so many options with look how many different looks i get with just that one set and it's just it's just the one set and it has all these different ways that I can um, use that set. And then, of course, I could do the exact same thing with the big set and other sets that have more than just one shadow. And you can have, you can do things with things that just have one shadow. It's just you don't have quite as many different options. But, um, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, cut apart a word or... Um, some letters or um, like people who stamp, you know, tons of people even cut apart stamps. You can always put it back together. So, um, you know, you need something in a different order. Maybe it's a saying and it's kind of stacked and you don't want it stacked. You have a long skinny space, cut the stamp up, layer it out. Um, you can always put it back in the stack the way it originally was intended and um, still use it that way if you want to. So. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you so you could see the different different ways, and I hope this is helpful to you. I mean, if you have any questions, um, be sure and just leave it down below. I'd be happy to, um, to answer them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with some project shares. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.